Hey guys, welcome back. You know, the startup world keeps changing every day. And, uh, you know, previously I used to meet these companies that are angel funded or, you know, people who, who know things. And, uh, you know, nowadays I meet kids who want to freelance first, do a lot of things on the side and then add value. Exactly. Just like Saurabh here, who's uh, now set up the blockchain school. Yeah. Right. You started off as a freelancer, didn't exactly. you? Exactly. Hmm? 2016 was the time when I started as a freelancer. When you joined college? Uh, yeah, so that was the time when I joined college. I started my career as a blogger. I used to mm. cover lots of blogs and stuff on my website. So you're an engineer or a blogger? Uh, yeah. So and What would you write about or blog so about? Uh, I started initially covering technology, but mm. I analyzed one factor uh, when I actually analyzed the market of uh, bloggers and lots mm. of things. So I analyzed one thing that everybody was focusing, at least for the Indian market, everybody was focusing towards gadgets and mainly smartphones. Correct. The, the major point which I realized was nobody was focusing towards upcoming trends and technologies which were in limelight. Hmm. And that's how I started covering different technologies, whether it's cloud computing, whether it's machine learning, whether it's AI. And then I got into blockchain in 2017. It's amazing. You're still in the third year of college. Yes. Uh, which engineering college you belong to? Ajinkya D.Y. Patil uh, College, Pune. Ajinkya D.Y. Patil University. Patil University in Pune, right? Yes. And you're originally from Nagpur? Uh, yeah, so I'm originally from Varda, it's a mm -hmm. small town in Nagpur okay. and uh, I'm in third year of my graduation right now, pursuing my bachelor's in technology. It's interesting, you know, the world is essentially moving from AI now to blockchain and blockchain, yeah. the argument around blockchain is becoming big now. Why did you set up this blockchain school? It's called theblockchainschool.io. Yes, that's the platform. Uh, it's, you know, I'm really shocked or pleased to see that somebody from Nagpur you know, as the ability to come and set up something that's internationally trending, no? Blockchain. Yeah. Why did you set it up? Go on, tell me. Okay, so uh, let's quick start this. So when I actually, I was covering articles on my website with my team. So we were three, four people that time. And uh, we used to cover a regular basis. So articles used to come on daily basis. And we started getting in a good high because there were very few blogs and channels from India were appreciating blockchain. Uh, sudden day we got an email from Toronto that you ranked amongst top three channels in Asian region for this month and you're doing great. So that motivated me and I don't know, like just after that case, we started getting invites from international market. So I used to analyze those invites. These were, these were big conferences happening in Malta, in Dubai, in uh, Europe and stuff. So what I did is I just turned those invites into partnerships. I approached them to do media partnerships. I've seen media, big medias like your story, which were actually partnering with uh, huge events. So you thought so, same could apply? Uh, yeah, same could apply for my stuff. Yeah, yeah, though my traffic was not huge, okay. but the traction was huge. The niche was uh, mainstream and niche was unique. So. I got an opportunity, the first event which we partnered was in Thailand. I got an opportunity to visit that event as a media partner. I was there, I uh, met lots of people, made a good network and then things started happening. As, as you said, I start, so I was doing freelancing, right, as I told you. So I, I did a couple of gigs, I uh, made some money and then I started investing that money in my next trips, future mm -hmm. trips. I started making a huge network in the uh, nice. blockchain industry and uh, what I analyzed is when I was traveling abroad and I was showcasing this on my social media because social media was a good trend and is a good trend right now. So when I was putting all this on my feeds, uh, people were actually comparing one thing really badly. So they were saying, are you working in Bitcoin? I said, no, I'm working in blockchain. So uh, yeah, people usually get confused between exactly, Bitcoin and blockchain. Yeah, yeah so they spell things. blockchain as B-I-T-C-O-I-N. Mm. So, mm. I st so this was a problem statement which I analyzed and since I started back in like 2016 I, I, I was struggling for one thing that I need a problem statement to build a product. Hmm. Blogging or something like that I don't want to do that for my lifetime right mm -hmm. providing value to community as I said sure. so that's how I started the blockchain school the initial plan was to just provide education hmm. but with uh, business comes so you moved USPs, from the content right? company to being a course Et provider. Yeah, so a tech, mm. uh, so yeah, mm. it's an interactive learning platform. So tell us what, what, you know, what do you want to solve with the blockchain school? Obviously, it sounds like you're going to provide courses. Yeah. But what kind of courses? Do you want to tell us so, how the course structure is like? No. So the, the whole plan to bring these courses mm. in a form of subscription based model. So to make a user, so uh, to make a layman mm. or a, so. I'll tell you a quick story. I've met a girl, seven-year-old girl mm -hmm. from Karachi. 
and she was a blockchain entrepreneur i've met her met her in a seven year old girl who's yes, a blockchain entrepreneur yes no? alina is her name and i have done an interview with sonali okay. which is nice, well. amazing so also we have done a research into blockchain and supply chain mm-hmm. management uh, me and vishwajit okay. and one of our yeah uh, you should tell us about the founders we'll get them yeah. get there in a bit so you yeah. finish off the story yeah so i have presented that research to a 84 year old uh, mm-hmm. professor into blockchain So I've realized one point that there's no age limit to learn new trends and yes, technologies. Yes, I agree with that. So we haven't kept a barrier to our focus targeted market or something like that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we have some barriers that we are targeting graduates. But the main agenda is to provide education in masses, and the course we have structured in such a way that could be simplified. It will get you towards every glimpse of blockchain, whether it's essence that is. introduction whether it's design whether it's development and the major thing which i'm working hard on is use cases because mm-hmm. what i think is if i'm trying to build something and if i get a ready use case of that industry or that product or that niche it will be simply is simplified for me to actually build a product in that niche right mm-hmm. so that kind of value we are trying to provide so you're going to talk about all the platforms that are a part of blockchain including yeah. hyperledger yeah. ethereum smart right? contracts smart contracts yeah. right yeah and yeah, then when you tokens and, and lots of things. and then you're going to provide use cases yeah i hope it's not a theoretical course no it's yeah, not because it's, theoretical it's, it's, course would be shafting engineers you're an engineer yeah. yourself you know the value is needed to build things yeah and i've analyzed something mm-hmm. in this process right that theoretical knowledge will not actually take you somewhere but mm-hmm. not exactly where you want Agreed. to go practically something which we want to do i started traveling that's how i learned and that's how i built myself right mm. communication skill has been developed by speaking to like great people like you i i meet oh, lots you. of people honored, thank you so i think that practical knowledge and getting into the market and working raw mm. will help you to actually mm. get deep dive into the technology okay so you also give the going to give them live courses blockchain yes. for design blockchain for development you want yeah. to explain what uh, blockchain for design means yeah so blockchain for design so l- let's suppose there's a x company mm. into blockchain working hard towards building their product now there are four things first thing what idea they are building upon what kind of problem they are solving mm. second thing what kind of image they keep in front of a user of a customer or, or stuff like that so what is the front end like how it is actually structured so if you are talking about hyperledger if you are in fact if you are talking about blockchain itself mm-hmm. how blockchain works right so there is a combination of blocks which contains hash code okay. and stuff so the structural form of that in terms of design for the front end will go in the blockchain design part and how it actually works in the back end for the development part okay. because blockchain needs a heavy resource and energy nice. right and that energy has been obviously consumed from different uh, cycles like electricity mm. as well so what we are trying to do is we are trying to actually look at the both the side of the mm. product whether it's front end whether it's back end again if we talk about development so we are not actually focusing completely towards developers right now we want to educate layman as well so, so that's why it's a yeah. b2c model in the beginning yes b2c model in the beginning so what do you want to solve here you would if people qualify i mean yeah. three, obviously they enter 3 yeah. months it's a 3 month course yes. how many hours is it So it consists. So it's a hundred to two hundred hours complete course, which consists of videos, mm. podcasts, mentor sessions, mm. uh, PDFs, PPTs, lots of new age content, which we are actually talking about. But my main agenda is not to only educate people. So uh, as I said, uh, I set up a, another blog initially, right? Called mm. as Techie Scoops. That's my first venture, and we say that Blockchain School is proudly powered by Techie Scoops mm-hmm. because my journey started there. Right. So we have partnered with lots of event, and one of that uh, partnerships were into recruitments and new age uh, technologies again. So I've met couple of founders from recruitment companies, and they are creating automated solution using AI. Hmm. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to solve a major problem that we are trying to build an automated recruitment to our platform. But again, getting people recruited is one job. Hmm. But what about people like me who wants to build something, solve a problem? so another channel will be helping people to build something of their own it's and third thing everybody don't want to build something or do a job they want to do freelance it's it's cool and i guess that's something so which that's is that's the pool of brain. resource you'll be providing yes, to these companies yes upgrade to our platform so so the, so there's a b2c and b2b model yeah so companies will come to you and say i need a blockchain resource can you provide them to yeah. me and you will solve so that. that is called project listings which mm-hmm. will be on our freelance platform upgrade mm-hmm. and what i mean when many of these uh, people finish these courses you expect them to build blockchain apps we want right? to build them apps and list them on our platform itself it's nice so that tomorrow will be a platform you being a platform will be great because yeah. these will be decentralized apps 
uh, they'll be specific to the Indian market, exactly. right? And you want to care to explain uh, why decentralized apps are becoming popular okay. globally? Okay. So again, the the only so I'll actually sum up your question in one term that yes. is trust. Correct. The well blockchain said. is technology of trust and that's what trust is improvability. Back. Exactly. That yes. improves ability, scalability, everything actually mm-hmm. are interconnected. That's what I believe. And that's how I've seen. So I've met lots of developers in the international market. Mm-hmm. They've been talking about decentralized apps. They've been building, they've been spending their like nights and nights only on building something, right? And I've asked them one question. Why want to actually work into blockchain? Mm. They say, man, it's tr- it's factor of trust and we want to serve this industry. Mm. And that's how things goes, right? So you're interesting, right? I mean, the early internet was all about control. Yes. Right. It had nodes, yeah. central nodes. Yeah. And this, these are decentralized yeah. nodes. That will verify information. Mm. They'll like, also prove uh, the fact that mm. this is genuine. Yeah. So the news, for example, you are exactly. saying that in the, in the future, if somebody has to prove whether this news is, if this show is fake, yes, or, not, fake or not, it only go live when people prove that it's not yeah. fake. I'll tell you one thing. When internet came in existence, you know, so the first factor which a user mm-hmm. thought of is internet will solve a problem that it will be transparent. It will be peer to peer. But it became anything but, right? There are kings on mm. internet i don't want to take names of the companies but they hold the power right it came for peer to peer but there are barriers in that now this barriers will be removed using blockchain that's mm. what i believe and i mean but but you know today i feel a bit i'm glad that young people like you are taking on to blockchain but do you think this old decentralized decentralization Decision. thing is it blown out of proportion see it depends. Like, does the world really need decentralization? Because everybody is now saying, "We well, let's Google it," you know. Like, but it's central. Yeah, you know, it's, it's centralized. Central. It's central. So, at one part of story, hmm. it works. Hmm. But another part of story where we talk about voting systems, we talk about agriculture, oh, yes. correct? Right. We well talk said. about e-commerce. We talk about lots of things. So, so the, so the opposition would never say, you know, EVMs have been tampered anymore. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's a That's good well story said. I was reading yesterday. Mm. So a couple of my writers have covered on our channel as well that uh, Thailand mm. right, and Australia and a couple of different regions have started implementing mm. blockchain with EVMs and stuff. But India is still in the scene of figuring out are these EVMs fraud or not? Like, why don't we implement something new? Whether even if we fail, mm. at least we'll get something out of it right I, I agree with you i mean you're saying the knowledge built up today for 10 years from now so our entrepreneurs will use it in some form exactly, or the other some form or the other even if if we talk about ai like ai came in 2016 like, onwards 2016 big... onwards but uh, if somebody wants to go and google it ai it's been in talks and use cases in research since 1957 yes i agree right I agree. so when i actually look at that scene so obviously blockchain was in like in the existence since that time, but it came in hype after Satoshi Nakamoto's paper, which was public 2008. So, 2008 yeah, so yes. that was the thing which happened, and through Bitcoin, people knew about blockchain. Mm. But I just want to tell people one thing that mm. Bitcoin is just one application. So, I met a person from China yesterday, uh, I was having some conversation with him. I asked him, uh, What are the sort of applications are banned on Android and uh, App Store for you? So he said, WhatsApp and stuff are banned. So I said, what do you think? He said, we have different uh, substitutes for those applications. We have WeChat, we have different applications. And this is the very layman explanation which I can give to user that blockchain is a technology on which that application is built. Even if that got banned, even if that got removed from you the whole... You other applications. Yes. I yes. got it. That's... I think most people know it as of today, but you're going to make sure that the masses get to yeah. know this. So your courses are going live. Courses are going They're live. They're open. We are How does the pricing work? So initially, this 15, we are launching a referral program on our channel. Mm-hmm. Uh, only one dollar will be the fee to actually get into it. And it will be completely a scholarship based program. So if, so we are selling this program for $100 initially. Mm-hmm. That is 100 credits you would need to purchase. Mm-hmm. But if you're able to bring community to the platform, you can make your so certification effectively for free. It's a referral thing. It's a referral so thing. So today if I sign up, it's $1? It's $1. For how many days? For a month. And right. you'll get the first module, a white paper, mm-hmm. a call session with our advisors. So we are getting advisors and mentors mm-hmm. on board. It will help. Our Set up your own apps, blockchain based yes. apps or whatever. Or at least guide our users on mm. the right track. So tell me a little bit about your co-founder, Vishwajit Ranade. So Vishwajit, so we are a team of four co-founders. So mm. we are a founding team of four people right mm. now. 
uh, so Vishwajit is there. So Vishwajit holds a good set of value in himself. He used to work with a corporate. He left his job, and then what happened is suddenly he actually uh, trusted on my vision, hmm. and we suddenly we came up with this that we should build something in this space. So he he's a blockchain could, expert. He's a, he's a researcher into quantum physics as well. He's hmm. a blockchain, and the major thing is he comes from a filmmaking background, right? So he hold a couple of hours. So he's a quantum physicist. Physicist who's also got a background in filmmaking in filmmaking Very so odd. nice and Very he's a un movie. member himself and uh, so we together have done couple of researches into blockchain and different mm-hmm. field and i got a good trust on that guy uh, another co- like founding team member is kevin so mm-hmm. he was my schoolmate back in 9 10 standard mm-hmm. so i got him on board he was doing freelancing he's an international quizzer he won tcs quizzes and stuff lots mm-hmm. of time so what i did is i've collected bunch of people with me to build my vision what i want to build it so yeah, i'm uh, it's, i'm happy for you because you're going to build blockchain school.io into yep. a platform yeah it's now pivoted from a content company to a tech company yeah. it'll soon be a platform for blockchain based apps, apps. too and uh, i wish you all the best there uh, saurav and uh, you know you you're you have a business background right your, no your father so was an entrepreneur himself that was but your not mother his also choice. like my father so he was left with no choice to do business mm-hmm. So he's into so being a small towner. So they are actually getting their survival done, right? Mm-hmm. Even if I talk about my mom, she is doing lots of freelance kind of stuff. We used to don't call it freelance at that time, but she used to do lots of fashion stuff that time. Now she run a boutique in my hometown. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I got from them is good qualities and uh, values, risk taking ability. Right. One day you've taken a risk uh, during your college yeah. time. So they trusted on my mm. vision. They have a faith. I don't need anything from them. I just need an emotional support and a faith in my in me. That's all. It's interesting, you know, guys out there. It doesn't matter if you're in college. Go start your own company. You know, unblock yourself. Exactly. You know, go d- go do your own companies. Tell your colleges. I hope your college is watching. My this. college. So my college itself launching uh, a blockchain. Startup. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Blockchain degree. Nice. And a new age course and we are also in talk with them so lots of things happening uh, behind in the India. scene yes we are in, even we are trying to bring a validation to a certificate from international standards because what i believe is if i provide an international validated certificate to an indian user or a users mm. it will give them a good uh, value addition to their resume obviously right? and they can use it and then freelance for other companies yeah. just building blockchain yeah. apps for them right exactly so guys again go check out the blockchain school.io right. sarav is the founder along yeah. with Vishwajit Ranade and Kevin and right Kevin and Kevin, Kevin also yeah. right guys uh, thank you for watching this and uh, we'll join you soon in a uh, uh, couple of hours with another entrepreneur but until then goodbye and sort of all the best to you thank you so and much and it's a pleasure to meet a college graduate or a person who's graduating with startup thank you man thank you bye guys bye bye